What's going on guys? Welcome back to Craniac Gaming and we are starting a brand new series today on the channel. As you can tell from the title and from the screen now, we are playing ESPN NFL 2K5, starting a franchise with the Tennessee Titans, my favorite team obviously. And this is a really rough season in real life because I believe we went 5-11 or 4-12, I don't remember which one. But it was a really bad season in real life and they were coming off a of playoff berth. But anyways, let's take a look at the team. As you see at quarterback, we have the legend himself, Steve Air McNair. It was about two seasons before we ended up drafting Vince Young and trading him to the Ravens, but he's the starting quarterback. We have Billy Volek backing him up. Volek had some good years before this season. I don't know why he's only a 60 overall, but oh well. And at third string quarterback, we have Jason Gesser, who played for Washington State a few years prior to this. Never really was that great for Tennessee. I don't even think he got playing time. But anyways, at running back, we got another legend in Eddie George. He actually played for the Cowboys in real life in this season, but he was on the Titans roster, so I kept him around. Don't know how long I'm going to keep him around. I might just let him play through his contract and then let him go. Behind him, we got Chris Brown. Of course, not the singer, but he was our starting running back for 05 and 06. Never really panned out the way we wanted him to, but... Chris Brown is our backup, and he's probably going to be the future at running back in this franchise, at least, unless I decide to draft somebody else. And then as the third string running back, we have Troy Fleming. Actually played for the University of Tennessee, and he would actually be our fullback, not our running back. I know that's weird, but oh well. Then at fullback, we have Robert Holcomb, another legendary fullback. Played for the Rams for their Super Bowl team, I believe. And then behind him, we have Sean McHugh, who's actually probably going to get cut for a free agent, as you're going to see at receiver. We got Derek Mason, of course. He played a lot of years in Tennessee before going to Baltimore. And he actually retired as a Raven, which still pisses me off to this day, but he's still going to be on this team for at least two more years. And we have Drew Bennett behind him. Bennett actually is well known for one of the worst drops in Titans history. It was a fourth down. McNair threw an absolute dime to him, and then he just dropped it, and that basically led us to lose with the Patriots. You have Tyrone Calico behind him, who never really panned out in real life, but hopefully he will here. And then Daryl Hill is our fourth receiver, and Jake Shafino is our kick returner. At the tight end, we have Aaron Kinney, Ben Troop, and Shad Meyer. Uh... Troop never really panned out the way one and two either, but that was partially because of injuries. Kenny had some good seasons with Tennessee as well. I don't know how long I'm going to keep him, though, with Troop on the roster. At center, we got Justin Hartwig, Eugene Amano, actually the backup. Amano had some pretty good seasons with Tennessee, but he's a 45 overall. No, don't know how long I'm going to keep him. At guard, we got Benji Olsen and Zach Peller. Jacob Bell is the backup there. Then we have Brad Hopkins and Fred the Drive Killer Miller at the tackle spots. Jason Matthews backing them up. And now we go to defense. And of course, we have Albert Hainsworth. Before he got the $100 million contract with the Redskins, he was a Titans defensive tackle. And he was pretty damn good as well. We got Randy Starks, who was in his rookie year. Well, more well known for playing for the Dolphins than the Titans, but he had some good years with the Titans as well. Ryan Long right behind them. Then we have Kevin Carter and Carlos Hall as the starting ends. Then we have also have Antoine Odom and Travis LeBoy behind those two. Odom and LeBoy had like two good seasons with Tennessee each, I believe. But we'll probably develop them. One of them is going to replace Carter at some point. And I don't think Hall is going to be here past this season. So we'll see if one of them replaces him as well. Then we got the legend himself, Keith Bullock at linebacker. Bullock is actually one of my favorite Titans of all time. Then Peter Sermon on the other side. We'll have to see how long Sermon stays around. And then Rocky Boyman going to be backing both of them up. Then we move on to middle linebacker. And currently our starting middle linebacker is Rocky Kalmus out of Oklahoma. Don't know how long I'm going to keep him around. And behind him, we don't have too much depth. We do have Brad Castle right behind him. But Castle's a 60 overall, so I don't know if he's going to be the replacement. Ken Amato is actually the long snapper for the Titans, so... We're not going to keep him around too much longer. And at cornerback, we have Samari Roll. A lot of good years with Tennessee. A Florida State graduate as well. So a lot of love for Samari Roll, for me at least. Then we have Andre Dyson, the brother of Kevin Dyson, of course, as the second cornerback. We also have Andre Wolfolk, who's a former first-round pick and never really panned out for Tennessee. 
And behind those guys, we have Tony Beckham, Rich Gardner, and Michael Waddell. Waddell's more of a kick returner, so he's not going to see a whole lot of time at corner. At the safety position, we'll start with strong safety. We got Tank Williams, who had a lot of good years in Tennessee. But overall, was never great as a strong safety. But this one was pretty good, at least. At free safety, no, we're not starting Lamont Thompson, Titans fans. Don't worry. We still have Lance Schultz on the team. He had a few seasons with Tennessee. Wasn't spectacular, but he definitely made plays here and there. And that's pretty much going to do it for our main positions. The kicker we have is Joe Nedney, of course. This was right before we got Rob Barones. Of course, Nedney had a few ACL injuries. And, of course, before the days of Brett Kern, we had Craig Hentrick as a punter. Hentrick is actually one of the more well-known punters, at least around this time. One of the best punters in the league. Also doubled as a kicker when we needed him to be. And that's going to be our roster. We are going to cut Sean McHugh, like I said, and Rich Garner as well. We're going to cut both these guys. And you're going to see in a second who we're going to pick up in place of those guys. First, we're going to get Jamie Duncan to get an upgrade at middle linebacker. I just didn't really feel comfortable starting Rocky Kalmus. I mean, Kalmus is only a 70 overall. So get Duncan for a year, see what we can do in the draft or in free agency as far as middle linebacker goes. But we're going to give Duncan a one-year, $1.75 million contract. And look who else we're going to sign. We're going to sign Shannon Sharp, currently one half of the show, Undisputed, outside of Skip Bayless. And we're going to show you guys the depth chart. First defensively, of course, Randy Sarks and Albert Hainsworth are going to be the starters at D-Tackle. They had Ryan Long starting at first, but I decided to put Starks there. And offensively, McNair, obviously the quarterback still. Mason and Bennett, the receivers. George still they're going to be the running back. Although Chris Brown might get a shot if George starts messing up this year. Anyways, taking a look at the schedule. We got a lot of divisional games early. Three of our first six games are actually against our division opponents. So that will be interesting. Then we play the Jags, Texans, and Colts. Three games in a row all on the road. That's going to be a tough stretch for us. But that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit the sub button if you're new. Let's get hyped for the series, bro. I'm really excited to show you guys this series. But anyways, you guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day and whenever you're watching this, I'm out of here. Deuces.